Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week, we're going to take a look at the FTP service that's built into OS X Server. Now, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and it's basically a way to uh, move files around between servers. Now, it is an older uh, technology, and it's generally been used by uh, web developers and uh, things like that where you just need to upload things to a certain file. And so, as a result of being an older service, it's important to understand that FTP is not a secure transfer protocol. In other words, your information sent back and forth is not encrypted, and so therefore it's out in the open, uh, making it more susceptible to be uh, intercepted. And so it's important to understand that, uh, that that's the case before you use the service. Uh, another thing, too, just to know is that uh, FTP uh, with OS X Server uh, does have a few complications with ports. I know some people have had some issues uh, getting FTP to work to be able to access it remotely. And so I'll talk about that when we talk about the ports that need to be opened. Uh, and also just some alternatives, because there is the alternatives, alternative of SFTP, which, which is basically an SSH file transfer protocol, where you have the SSH service running, and that is encrypted both ways, uh, back and forth. So that's another option that you can use. So let's get started by taking a look at the service here. And as you can see, this is the FTP service. We've got it all set, uh, kind of just set up already here. Notice it's not running. Nothing's turned on. Uh, like normal, when you look at any of the services in uh, uh, OS X Server 4, uh, you've got this access area here where you can set uh, permissions uh, for all users or networks. If you just edit that, you can edit those permissions right in here if you want to limit access to this particular service. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to leave it at the default and say cancel. Now down here we have all of our uh, folder uh, permissions for this particular share. And so right now it's at the website's root, and that's because uh, you know typically if you wanted to upload changes to your websites or whatever, you would go to the website root to do that. In fact, if I just tap on this uh, view files icon over here, it takes us to that site's folder to show us where we would be uploading and accessing FTP. Uh, right within the storage tab of the server tab on uh, OS X server. So let me just go back to FTP here. Uh, now you can change this uh, anytime you want. You can change it uh, to uh, any of your share points uh, or your websites that you've got up here. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to sh uh, change it to movies, I could change it to that movies folder. And you can see all my spotlight folder permissions change. And you'll notice that now I've got a little link here to edit that particular SharePoint if I wanted to. So if I just tapped on that, it would take me into file sharing into this SharePoint and would allow me to customize it and tweak it uh, however I want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, cancel that and go back to FTP. Uh, so you can you know, change the share and set everything up however you'd like to. Uh, again, you can still view the same files in there as well. If I hit the View Files button, it takes me now down to the Movies folder so that I can view those files. So again, it does give you a few things you can do. You can always add users if you want to. If you click the plus button, you can see you got a new user on there that you can add. Or we can just take that user off. Uh, you can change the permissions from uh, read and write to read only, which means you can only see what's in the folder. You can't write to it. Or write only, which means you can't see what's in the folder, but you can upload things to it. Uh, and then also no access if you wanted to limit uh, somebody or a group to no access. So there are some things you can do to change that around and really make it work the way that you want it to work. Uh, so once you're ready, once you have everything set and ready to go, you just turn on the uh, service here. And now the service is running. You can see I got a green light. It's all green up here and on, and uh, again, tells me that uh, the service is available on the local network. Now, as I said before, uh, you do need to open some ports to make the service work. If you've got a uh, Airport Extreme base station, uh, you'll have this in the sidebar, so if you just come into that. What you're going to want to do is open uh, two ports. You're going to want to open uh, port 20 and port 21. And then you may also need to open up uh, ports uh, 49, 152, to 65535. Uh, 65, uh, and those are, the, those are um, ephemeral port uh, range there that's kind of outside the normal port range. And uh, I guess uh, OS X server uses those ports uh, as backup ports. And so sometimes if those aren't open, the FTP service will not work remotely. Again, FTP is a little bit more uh, complicated. I have had people have problems with getting access. Uh, some, you may have to check if your ISP is blocking uh, the port 2021 as well. Um, but uh, 
But it is, it, it, there are, have been some problems with this version of OS X server. So if for some reason you can't access that, uh, I would highly rec recommend using uh, SFTP if you want to do that. Uh, in order to access that, you would just uh, go to make sure that the SSH is turned on. You'd go to System Preferences. And uh, in fact, let me just show you that real quick. You go into System Preferences here. You go into Sharing. And then what you want to do is you want to turn on um, you want to turn on your remote login right here. You want to turn on this right here. As you see, that will turn on SSH and SFTP. And once you've got that on, you're good, and your server will have that uh, set as well. So that's how you would set that up and turn it on, and then you'd use a client to gain access. So let me just uh, pop that down. But I just wanted to let you know that there is, uh, like I said, there are some issues with this. I've had a few myself in doing some of the access uh, remotely, uh, so I just wanted to point that out that you do need to have those ports open uh, to make that work. And again, those are a lot of ports to open, and that's why I would probably recommend SFTP more than FTP, but just wanted to let you know that. All right, let's just come back here. Uh, so now that I've got that set up, what I want to do is demonstrate for you how do you access uh, your FTP share. Uh, and I'm going to do that using, um, using the terminal and using an application to show you how to do that. Okay, so here we are over on a terminal window. And so what I'm going to do is just show you how to access your FTP shares uh, using another remote server that I've got. And so what you do to get into your servers, you type in FTP with a space, and then you type in your server's host name. And once you get that in, you hit return. And then what it'll do is connect to the server, and then it'll ask you for a username and password. And so you can put your short name for your username there, hit return, and then it'll ask you to put in your password. And the cursor won't move as I type that in, but let me go ahead and type in that password. Okay, once you have that typed in, you hit return. And you can see now that the user, uh, my user is logged in, you see that I've got an FTP prompt now. Now, in order to get files from your server, if you want to download them, you type the word get, and then you would type the, the file's name. So I think I've got one that's uh, named this, and you hit return. And you can see that now it's starting to download the file, and it has transferred, and the transfer now is complete. And so I've actually got that file downloaded onto my machine. And so that's how you would do that. If you wanted to add a file to the server, uh, instead of saying get, you would use the word put. You'd put put and then the file name, uh, you know, the and then and the entire, um, you know, the entire chain of where that file is located, and then it will basically take it and upload it to your server. So that's how you do that using the terminal window. Now, what I want to do is show you how to how to do the same thing using a uh, FTP client. Okay, so here we are in one of my uh, favorite FTP clients, and that's called Forklift. And so what Forklift will do is allow you to access your shares and uh, upload and download uh, different files and things. And so what we would do to, uh, to actually access uh, one of those shares is you come up here and you can see this little computer connection here. and Just click on that. And now it gives me this connect window. And so this is just a more graphical way of doing it instead of using terminal. Uh, I can select FTP here. And then I put in my server name. So let me just type that in. And then you put in your username and password. And once you do that, you just click on connect. And what it will do is start to connect to the server. And you can see that it's loaded my server here now. And there you can see the file that I had downloaded earlier already. And so all I would need to do now is I could take this file and basically just move it to wherever I wanted to move it. I could take it off of here and just move it onto my desktop. And it would then copy it right there on my desktop. And you see now I've got the file there. It's copied it from there to there. So that kind of gives you an idea of how the FTP service works. And, and like I said, it's not uh, a, secu a secure service at all. It's an older technology. I would recommend uh, SFTP uh, just for the encryption uh, uh, differences there. Uh, but just wanted to show you how the FTP service works and how to get it all set up. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.